Hello everybody and welcome to Experience the Groove to Improve Your Life channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. And let me ask you, are you facing a challenge such as a language barrier, cultural differences, exploring new territory, or perhaps you're trying to overcome physical limitations. Well, if so, let me tell you, child, you are not alone. Yet my advice to you is, don't run. What I want you to do instead is to meet the challenge. Because life is full of surprises. And it will, without a doubt, at some point in time, present to you the unexpected. Creating, reinventing, and creating. Yes. Isn't that what it's all about? Yes. Creativity, continuing to create and to yes. grow. Yes. Um, but just taking it a back a notch, so you've had some struggles here too. You've had some struggles living here in America. Yes. So tell us what some of those struggles were and how did you overcome them? Mm, well, coming here, language. I came here and all I heard was gibberish. You know, you got, you're, you're a little eight-year-old boy and you got off a plane and all you hear is gibberish and you're wondering, well, what's going on? I mean, I expected, of course, you know, that people are speaking English, but you really don't know the effects of that until you are in the situation, you know, and language, uh, you know, in school, making friends was difficult, being in class was difficult. Um, I'm still learning about language, you know, I'm still learning my grammar and that's okay, you know, I'll never stop learning anything, paint, dance you know, art, language. Um, I think that was my, my biggest struggle. Um, culture, too. You know, my family still has uh, the mental culture from the Dominican Republic, and I've grown up around a different kind of culture, so just kind of finding that balance, how to uh, be when I'm with my family, how to be when I'm on my own, and, and telling myself who I am out of all of that. I mean, I'm, I'm not either or, I'm a combination of both things. And um, I, I think those are pretty much the struggles. You know, language, just uh, coming into a new I culture, dance. I knew I wanted to um, take classes and explore that, that creative um, medium, but I never really thought I would be a dancer. You brought me back to my roots. You know, I, after I left the Dominican Republic, that is some, I left at a very young age. So it's ar at around eight years old. So. I kind of blocked that out a little bit. You know, I came here and got into all the video games and, you know, the top 40 music. And then I stepped into your class and I was like, whoa, I can move my rib cage like that. I can move my hips, you know. And it really, I really do feel connected to my country through, through, through your class. And class and I have learned so much from you and I'm so thankful and so grateful. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so would you say in the Dominican Republic when they dance you just talked about the move in the rib cage in the in the hips is it a very sensual type of dance that they do in the Dominican yeah, Republic? Is I it think, very I sensual? Th I think they try to act like it's not but it is. Oh I they try to pretend like it's not yeah, but it is. I mean, you know,
know you had to have faced mm -hmm. some challenges. What were those challenges? I think it was my lack of experience. I think that was my challenge. I started dancing at a really late age. I think I was 20, maybe. I had no flexibility. I had, I'd, I'd learned how to use a brush, you know, but I did not know how to use my body. I, don't, I realized at that moment in time, all I knew how to do was walk. I didn't know that I could control what my feet, the way my feet works, the way my muscles move. Um, uh, but flexibility was a huge challenge, and it still is. I'm still trying to get more flexible and build strength, you know. Uh, there's a lot of dancers start out at a very young age, so their body, you know, um, kind of grows with to, and adapts to dance, whereas I'm trying to do that after my body has developed. So I think just shaping my body and molding it is one of the biggest challenges. And then the most fun part is the actual dancing and trying to express myself. But before I get there, I have to um, just mold my body still and learn the technique. And